but it's a really fascinating piece. You, How did you kind of stumble into this or what brought you to writing this piece? <laughs> well, you already mentioned uh, the reason. It was um, Robbie Martin, friend of uh, True and mm. I think he's been on your show. He'd, mm. uh, he did share a clip with me about Tucker Carlson. We've been talking about him for a while. And the clip was him uh, being interviewed by some very weird person in about 2005, late 2005, early 2006. It's never been published anywhere except this guy's YouTube page. But um, what Tucker says in that is pretty interesting. He says, you know, in the 1980s, you know, when I was in college, uh, I went down to Nicaragua to, quote, go get involved in the war and, you know, fight for Mm. the side that I thought was right, which was not the Sandinista side, which is a pretty incredible claim. You know, hundreds of people have written biographies of Carlson, but nobody Mm. has ever mentioned this. So I started going, you know, going through like, you know, um, old documents, the old news databases, et cetera, trying to find out a little bit more about this, you know, talking to people who I knew in Nicaragua. And I did find another podcast where, you know, it was even crazier what um, what he said on that. The conservative host said, and this is a quote, I don't think many people know that you were actually a freedom fighter who traveled to Central America to fight with the Contras. Could you fill our listeners in on that story? And then Tucker's like, <laughs> no, uh, actually, it was my liberal dad let me go. And I just wanted to go and see the war in Nicaragua. And then he's like, all kinds of hilarity ensued. And then he very nervously changed the subject. And so mm. I thought, this is immediately what I wanted to look at. This sounds mm. like a, a really juicy story. And yeah, that's what the, the article is about, primarily about what Tucker is, uh, what he presents himself is, as, and, you know, really looking, about, looking at what sort of um, role he plays in society, particularly given his background, his dad, his mother, and uh, his history in promoting things like the Iraq War and neoconservatism more generally. Yeah, I, uh, I, I want to get into his dad a little bit here because uh, I think people do, some people at least to an extent, do know who his father was. Um, and his dad was a pretty powerful fo- force in both radio sort of writ large, but more specifically, the American government's direct involvement in radio. Um, and, uh, you know, having come from a family where my dad was a bit of a radio man himself, <laughs> um, I, uh, you know, it's a... Uh, it, it, it's really interesting because his, his father was actually in charge of Voice of America. That's right. He was the head. He was appointed by Ronald Reagan to be the head of the U.S. Information Agency, which is the body which oversees Voice of America, Radio Liberty, Radio Free Europe, Radio Marcy, all of these um, networks that collectively the New York Times calls a worldwide propaganda network set up by the CIA. And that's really what they're about. They're Uh, In his position, Dick Carlson is his name, he was really uh, there in the 1980s to carry out the media media aspect of the dirty war against the Sandinistas and against um, the governments of Eastern Europe and Russia as well. And so Dick had this really important role during the 1980s as one of the chief cold warriors in Mm -hmm. uh, the US government in Washington, D.C., and I was able to find a lot of clips about him talking about his role on C-SPAN, which is a great resource for um, like old clips because yeah. you know they, nobody watches C-SPAN, so people are really have their guard down and they really talk much more yeah. <laughs> openly about what they're doing there. And callers call in and they just you know just say stuff that they wouldn't say uh, yeah. if they were on CNN or something. Yeah, some classic great oopses come from. C-SPAN for sure. Yeah, including Tucker. But uh, yeah, yeah, his dad, (laughs) there are all sorts of clips of his dad talking about how uh, Voice of America was really the driving force behind the end of the Soviet Union. Mm -hmm. And Dick was also, you know, amplifying messages about the Sandinista government in Nicaragua, you know, carrying out a sort of hybrid warfare, what was going on. Um, I think most people know a little bit about the Iran-Contra affair and how the US was kind of bombarding Nicaragua with uh, incessant propaganda yes. to try and get the Sandinistas out. And of course, they were, <laughs> as well, they were funding uh, far-right death squads, the Contras, and the way they were funding that, of course, was by selling weapons to Iran on the site and then using mm-hmm. that money to uh, arm and train the Contras. And of course, there's the whole angle where, of course, the CIA is widely accused of flooding black neighborhoods in the United States throughout the 80s with crack cocaine as well Mm -hmm. um, in order to fund uh, this network of death squads across 
uh, Central America. And so really, this is what uh, Tucker Carlson's dad was doing in the 1980s, overseeing the media aspect of this. And mm. so for him to present himself as this sort of like anti-state radical who's a populist outsider, it just doesn't chime with reality, frankly.